Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a new pick a card reading all about your month of August of 2023. So if you're curious what the month of August has in store for you, you came to the right place. But before we hop into today's video, I wanted to give a huge shout out to Keen for sponsoring this video. If you have not heard of Keen before, they're essentially a huge online psychic network full of psychics and spiritual advisors that are there to answer your life's questions. And a couple of the things that I really love about Keen is the fact that they are online. So no matter where you are in the world, from the comfort of your own home, you can log on at any time and browse through available psychics that range from different prices and you get to choose the amount of time that you want to spend with a psychic. And my own personal experience with Keen has been great so far. I found a couple different psychics on there that have predicted some really accurate things for me, ranging from people that I would meet in my life or even other business opportunities that were coming into my life at the time, which were all really accurate. But from my own personal experience, I also highly recommend trying out a few different psychics before finding the one that you want to spend the most time with because some psychics go really in depth, really in detail. And then other psychics tend to be a little bit more vague. And I really like psychics that go into as much detail as possible. I just find those ones more accurate and more impactful. And if you're curious about Keen and if you want to give them a try, you can use my link trykeen.com slash gem to get your first five minutes for only $1.99. And again, that's trykeen.com slash gem to get your first five minutes for only $1.99, which is a really good deal. And again, thank you so much to Keen for sponsoring today's video. I'm sending you all so much love. And without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right back into your August prediction. Hello my loves, what's up, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a new pick a card reading for your month of August of 2023. If you are curious what the month of August is gonna be like for you and what energies and things that you can expect happening in your life for the month of August, then you clicked on the right video. I feel like August is full of really good energies, not even just for myself, like for myself, I am moving in the month of August, so I'm really excited to be in a new space, have a new filming area and for all of these different changes. But in general, I just feel like it's gonna be a positive month for everyone. I just feel like August is gonna be transformative. We also had some really uh, big aspects happen this month in July. So astrologically, we had the nodes shifting signs and whenever they shift signs, it redirects us and everyone and their purpose and it helps us let go of old karma and old habits and all that. So I just feel like we entered a new window during the month of July and the month of August is gonna really help us step into that new energy with all the new kind of stuff that's happening astrologically and all that. So with that being said, if you're new to these videos, I'm gonna give you a quick little explanation about how it works. So we have four different groups in front of me. These are our different piles that you can choose from. So we have group number one. This is associated with the crystal of Shungite right here. So if you're drawn to this pile, this is gonna be the one for you. Then we have group number two, and this has um, some green calcite. Then group number three, I actually felt like having two different crystals for you. One of these, I believe that this is a really light color, um, not fluorite, this is not fluorite, this is apophyllite. So this is like a light green apophyllite, uh, which is actually kind of rare. And then we also have a quartz, but it's Lemurian quartz, which is exciting. It's a really old, ancient kind of piece of quartz. And then on group number four, we have some bismuth. So whichever group that you are the most drawn towards, that is going to be your pile that will reveal the energies that you can expect coming for you through the month of August. Once you're done choosing your pile, there's gonna be timestamps linked down below in the comment box, as well as the description box, so that you can skip right ahead to your personal prediction. And if you need some help choosing a pile, what I would recommend is closing your eyes and wait for the first number to come to your head between one and four and whatever the first number is that pops into your head without you even thinking about it, that is going to be your group. So if you want to tap into your intuition more and if you're struggling to pick a group, that is my little advice for you. And if you're drawn to multiple piles, there's probably just multiple messages for you in each of those piles. So I'd highly recommend listening to both of them if you find yourself drawn to multiple groups. Also, thankfully I'm moving because this airplane noise in the background of my videos has been ultra annoying. <laughs> so I'm so excited to not have that anymore. But anyway, with that being said, if you are ready to hop into your group, then I will meet you there. Pause the video if you need some more time to choose your pile. And without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into today's video. Okay, so group number one, if you chose this pile, this is going to be your reading. So let's hop right into it. Okay, so group number one, let's go ahead and see what we have in store for you for the month of August. We have King of Wands being reversed. We have the Three of Swords being reversed. There's some healing that you're doing and there's some um, shift that's gonna be happening in your mindset 
and within your inspiration. One of the things that I'm picking up on with the King of Wands being reversed is that you've probably doubted yourself when it came to your abilities to do something or for your abilities to really step up into a leadership position. Um, the King of Wands being reversed, I'm also really feeling like this is your month of overcoming some imposter syndrome. So when it comes to acting on what you really want to do, moving towards the goals that you have. There's probably been some doubt that's come up in your mind, or maybe it's hard for you to do things alone or on your own and to fully step into your power. But this is your month where I think that you're going to be pushed to step into your power more and pushed to overcome whatever past hurts that you've had. I really think that some of you fear failure, like you really fear taking action on certain things because you don't want to fail at it. And there's maybe also some sort of like self judgment or some harsh thoughts that have stopped you from moving towards certain goals that you've, that you've had. And I think that this is your month of reinvigorating your energy and trusting yourself more and building a more solid foundation. I also think that another thing that you're really trying to do is let go of fears, hurts, limitations, and different things that have kept you stuck. I, I really feel like there's been past experiences that you've had where you have probably lost hope on certain things or you've tried to kind of step up into a leadership position before, you've tried to step up into a confident position, but you got shot down. Like this is your month of working on your confidence and getting over some of those past experiences. The King of, the, sorry, the King of Wands being reversed is working on his confidence. He might currently feel like his ego is a little bit bruised and he's scared of his ego being hurt again or he's scared of like fully stepping into his power and his light because maybe that's backfired before, right? And maybe we've had people judge us or we've had some experiences that weren't so great. And I really think that this is your month of healing those experiences and freeing yourself so that you're not bound by those experiences anymore. I, I do think that there's gonna be opportunities in the month of August for you to begin building more confidence again. There's gonna be more opportunities for you to heal and forgive the past and to know that your future does not have to be defined by your past experiences. Your future, it can be full of completely brand new experiences if you want it to be. And I think this is your month of healing that and creating that. I also think that there's gonna be certain conversations that you have. Ooh, yeah, this card literally confirms what I was just about to say, wow. Okay, there could have even been a relationship in your life with someone who constantly threw doubt in your face. Like, I feel like this is either a friend, a family member, or a partner even that you've had that would constantly doubt you or put you down every time that you had a dream, every time that you had a desire, every time that you said that you wanted to do something. I feel like there's been someone saying like, why would you even do that? You're not, how can you do that? You don't have the skills. You don't have the you know, knowledge. You don't have what it takes. And I feel like this is your month of healing that and looking at that and realizing that you don't have to take that. You don't have to live by someone else's perspective, right? You do not have to live by someone else's perspective. Just because someone has that perspective does not mean that it's true, right? You can have your own perspective of yourself. And I really think that this is your month of creating a new thought and creating a new perspective of you and of your capabilities so that you don't have to live by anyone else's rules and you don't have to stop yourself just because someone else doesn't believe in you. I think this is your month of creating more belief in yourself um, and also standing up for yourself. And look, we have the magician coming up for you. Oh, and the colors of these two cards are coordinating. This is making me feel like these are really connected. So you are gonna be alchemizing because the magician is like an alchemist. You're gonna be alchemizing past experiences that hurt you and you're gonna be finding strength within them. So rather than those past experiences of maybe failure or hurt or disappointment, instead of those hurting you, I feel like you're gonna use those to motivate you to learn and grow and do better next time so that you never have to run into that again, right? Because when we fail at something, we learn how to not do something. Therefore, it moves us 
closer and closer in the right direction. And no matter who you ask on this planet, even the most successful people, they've run into tons of failures. They've probably also had people that used to laugh at them and be like, you can't do this. What are you to think that you can do this? We've all had that. Even the most successful people have that, right? And so you're no different. And I really feel like you're calling back your power this month. You're truly doing that with this magician energy. And also if you're currently having conflict with someone, if you're currently feeling like there's a relationship where there's a little bit of conflict or opposing views or something that's kind of weighing on you emotionally, I really feel like you're actually going to handle that very well this month. I'm seeing that you're going to be able to handle that really well. And you're going to know the exact right things to say to have this um, work out in a good way. I feel like you've been doing a lot of learning, especially when it comes to communication and listening. I feel like you've truly actually been having a lot of realizations in those areas about how to act and react in order to have good, healthy conversations. And I feel like because of your wisdom of that and because of the wisdom that you've been gaining in that area, whatever it is that you're gonna have to deal with here, I really see it turning out fine. Like I see it turning out better than you think. Um, and I think it's because you've grown so much and I think that you've been listening and reflecting a lot and learning a lot. And I think it's just helped you grow so much. Let's try to get one more tarot card and then we'll move into our Oracle cards. Oh, we get two tarot cards for you. Let's go with it. Let's see what we get. Oh, and then we also have these ones. This is so interesting. You know what? These ones fell on the floor too. So we're just going to go with it. We have a lot of, I said one, but here we have like five extra. We have the queen of cups upright. I think that you're also really tapping into your intuition this month and you might feel like more sensitive to things and you might be feeling like your emotions are a bit more sensitive, but spirits coming through saying that this is actually a good thing because this is going to really help you grow in your empathy and your understanding of others, which is going to help you so profoundly in conversation, um, especially when it comes to like harder conversations. This is really helping you grow a lot emotionally. Um, and it'll actually have a lot of positive benefits. So that's something that spirit wanted to come through and say here. And then we also have the fool being reversed. We have the seven of cups being reversed. We have the four of pentacles being reversed. And then we have, oh, we have the nine of pentacles upright. Ooh, you're getting up and trying again on something and you are more wise. You might not even see yourself as wise. You might be still thinking, I have a lot to learn, but that's actually the wisest thing to think. That's the wisest place to be. It's not wise to be like, oh, I have all the knowledge. Nobody does. Not even the masters of masters of masters have all the knowledge. And the fact that they're, you know, a true master knows that he doesn't know everything. That's what a true master knows. And so I feel like you're really, this is a month where you're just growing so much. And I feel like you're also gonna make some decisions that really help you out, especially if you've been stuck on a certain choice to make. The answers are coming for you, whatever you've been stuck on. If you've been stuck on how to handle a situation or what to pursue in your life, that's gonna be a much clearer decision for you in the month of August. And I also feel like this is a month where you're going to be saving more. You're going to be more focused on saving your money and creating a more secure and solid foundation. And this is going to lead you to more abundance. I feel like this is a month where you're going to save more than you think. I just feel like there's more growing for you financially. And I think that you're going to feel really positive about your finances in the month of August, especially if things have been tight lately. And especially if you've been trying to make new decisions when it comes to money, um, those new decisions are really going to pay off for you. So let's dive into our Oracle cards. We have nature. This can indicate like the self-explanatory obvious part where you might be spending more time in nature. Like maybe you're, you're going to be going camping or maybe you're going to have more opportunities to spend time outside. And you might even feel more like getting outside again, especially if you've been cooped up or dealing with things a lot emotionally and been a lot in your head. Spending time in nature is going to really help clear that for you. And you've probably even been feeling that lately, like you just want to feel more clear. You're going to feel more clear when you get outside, when you go in nature. Oh, and then this card, it's like 
these birds. Birds are going to be a huge symbol for you in the month of August. So if you do see birds come up, like a bird symbol, or if you see a lot of birds flying around, birds indicate freedom and transformation, spreading your wings, higher perspectives. So if you do see birds, this is a message from the universe to look at things from a higher perspective, to spread your wings, to allow freedom, to allow flow, and to not be scared to spread your wings and fly to a new place. It can also indicate travel, it can indicate movement, getting out of an old situation, releasing, and all of that. So if you do see birds, that's your message from the universe. We also have compassion. I just feel like your, your intuition and your empathy is gonna serve you a lot in the month of August, and it's gonna help you heal certain things that maybe need to be healed right now for you. I'm also just seeing like shedding old skin, shedding old skin. Why is that coming up? That's coming up really strongly, shedding old skin. Like, I feel like you've, you're really growing so much that if you look at who you were last year, I feel like you've changed a lot. You've grown a lot. That's what spirit wants to say. It's like looking at who you were even just last year, which is not that long ago. You are so different from where you were back then. If you look at even just December of 2022, you are already so different than who you were then. And Spirit just wants to give you a round of applause and congratulate you for all the growth. Because even if you feel like you've been stuck or if you feel like there hasn't been progress, Spirit just wants you to listen right now and to really reflect on how many things have changed since December. So much has changed. You've been making tons of progress. Even if it doesn't look like it, just from your day to day, there's been tons of progress here. So Spirit just wants to congratulate you on that. Let's see what else is happening for you in the month of August. Let's see what else Spirit has to say. Okay, we have the Sage. There's gonna be a huge clearing for you in the month of August. I think you're clearing old energies, things that no longer serve you, and you're also clearing things that were standing in the way of your confidence. Um, teeth always represent our self image, especially in dreams. So if you ever have a dream that your tooth is chipped or you're, you have missing teeth all of a sudden in a dream or whatever, if there's something going on there, it's usually our self image and how we perceive ourselves. So with this coming up and the teeth really sticking out to me in this one, I feel like you're clearing things that held you back from a positive self image. And I feel like you're growing in a more positive way when it comes to how you see your, how you see yourself. I also think that there's going to be an opportunity to really have some deep talks with different friends or even family members or maybe even a partner if you have one. I think that you are you have someone that's going to be giving you really great advice this month and I also think vice versa. You're going to be able to give someone else really great advice this month. I think that you're just gonna have a really deep talk with someone that's really beautiful, where both of you are sharing like really deep wisdom and having a conversation that's really deep and transformative for the both of you. We also have the warrior card coming up. Mm. This is gonna really help you like grow in confidence. I just see you like picking up an idea that you have and you're ready to like defend yourself. Not that you need to really defend yourself, but when it comes to people who doubt you or people who tell you like, stop, stop even trying, stop trying to go in that direction. You're never going to make it. Like people who say that, I feel like you're so ready to stand up against that and be like, nope, I'm doing it anyway. And it's not even like you're wasting energy to even explain that to them. It's more like you're just taking action towards it because you're not letting those words hurt you anymore. There's words that used to hurt you that somebody would say to you. There's words that bothered you before, whether that be just from external places or getting offended by something or feeling hurt by something. If there was words that were bothering you from other people, this is your month where all of a sudden it's just like your mind is getting so strong that you're like, no, I'm cutting that out. I'm not listening to that anymore. That's not gonna stop me or bother me or cause me to change anymore. And of course, we should also learn how to grow and take constructive criticism once in a while, but I just feel like the, the criticism that you've been taking hasn't necessarily been the most constructive. It's almost like it's been destructive and you're putting a stop to that. You're really putting a stop to that this month, just in the ways of you're just 
not going to allow other people's words or opinions to affect you the way that they used to. You're no longer allowing that. And that's gonna be so beautiful. And it's, again, it's not about being defensive about it. I don't see you being defensive about it and needing to explain yourself because that's also a lower vibrational energy when we feel the need to explain ourselves and stand up for ourselves in that way. The best form of standing up for yourself is to be so confident in you that your actions speak louder than your words and you don't let other people's opinions or thoughts control or dictate what you do with your life. Actions speak louder than words. And I just see you taking more action rather than feeling the need to like explain yourself and all that. Hopefully that makes sense. Anyway, moving on. Let's get some more cards here. Group one, we also have a spirit of place. You're being divinely guided right now. Oh, I love when that card comes up. You're being divinely guided right now. And there's been these subtle whispers to focus more on creating a solid, reliable foundation for yourself. And also spirit of place is also this card that talks about doing without speaking. Spirit of place is when we are staying quiet about what it is that we're doing, but we're so focused and we're putting so much energy into a, into a thing that we're building, but we don't feel like we need to announce it to the world because talk is cheap, right? And we know that actions speak louder than words. So again, this card is confirming this idea for your month of August that actions speak louder than words. And this is your month of taking way more action and being super compassionate, being super understanding, but also being super compassionate, understanding with yourself and knowing that you're gonna move towards what you want and no longer let other things stop you. And we also have wide open. I just feel like you are inviting in such positive energy in this next month. And the fact that you are putting a stop to letting opinions or thoughts of other people affect you, the fact that you're putting a stop to that is gonna really like open up a lot of doors for you. I feel like you used to maybe control your thoughts and actions so that you wouldn't step on other people's toes or you wouldn't do things that they didn't approve of or whatever. You're like, no, I don't want that. I just wanna live my life for me. I'm gonna do what makes me happy. And that's the best place that we can be, you know what I mean? If we all just focus on our own journey and we just focus on ourselves rather than focusing on what everyone else is doing, we're all gonna be so much happier, right? And of course it's nice to do nice things for people once in a while, but we shouldn't stop our dreams for the happiness is like of someone else. Like why would our dreams even affect them? If we're living our happiest life, why would that make them upset? You know what I mean? Like that shouldn't. People should want what's, what's best for us, right? So anyway, we should all want what's best for other people rather than feeling like, yeah. Anyway, I'm sure you get the point. I'm sure you get the point. Let's see what else we get for you. Group one, group one, group one. I'm really feeling like that card wants to come out. Observer, you're gonna be looking off and planning your future a lot. I think that your future is slightly shifting and I, th I feel like you're just ready to plan something and you're creating a deeper vision for your future in the month of August. You're able to kind of see your future in a bigger way and plan for it in a bigger way and I just think that you're gonna be making bigger plans, like way bigger plans. I feel like you're so ready for that and you see it off in the distance. You can see your dream, like he's looking at the moon right there. And I feel like this is representing a goal that you really wanna to get to. There's also stars up here, it's like this goal and you can see it, you can see it in plain sight and you're gonna understand so much better how to get towards that. I feel like there's gonna be a lot of wisdom coming in and a lot of new ideas that are gonna help you get to your goal and you can see it better than ever and you're gonna be able to see it um, closer than ever. We also have message in a bottle. Ooh, someone might be receiving some good information. Honestly, I feel like you're gonna be, I feel like there's gonna be a conversation that's gonna be really valuable to you. Or this could even be like a video that you see online or a course that you're taking or something, or even something that you read in a book. There's some sort of information that's coming for you for the month of August that's coming in that's gonna really help you fill in the missing pieces of something that you've needed to know. It's gonna really help out. Also, communication is gonna be really important for you in the month of August. So the people that you communicate with, very important. Like I, I see you having a deep conversation with a friend and it's gonna have so many of these epiphanies in it. 
And there's valuable information that, ooh, Spirit's also saying, write it down. Don't just rely on memory when it comes to important realizations that you have or important information that you come across. Write it down somewhere because the brain is so inefficient at memory. <laughs> like, honestly, when we have a good idea and we're like, there's no way I could ever forget that. That's such a good idea. And then lo and behold, two hours later, we're like, oh, I know I had a really good idea, but what was that? You know, and it's like, oh, dang, I wish I wrote it down. Write it down. If you get good ideas or if you have this really profound conversation with someone, write down those epiphanies after, write down those synchronicities because you're gonna wish you did if you didn't. <laughs> um, so that's what we have there. Let's go ahead and now <clears throat> dive into, I really wanna take out this last Oracle deck before we go into our Astro Dice. Let's see what else we get for you. Group one, we're just going all out with the messages today for August. Ooh, I really feel like that one, these two. These two really, oh, calling to me. Okay, we have ship. You are starting a journey, my love. You are transforming, we have the butterfly and the ship. You are transforming in the month of August. There could even be a trip that you're planning. Like some of you might actually go on a trip somewhere. But you're definitely transforming for one, you're growing your wings, birds and butterflies are gonna be huge symbols for you and even ships are gonna be like symbols for you. I think you're setting sail on, a, on something that you've held yourself back from for a while, maybe because of other people's opinions or you didn't wanna be judged or you didn't wanna fail or all these other things. You're just ready to be you. You're so ready to spread your wings and not let other people hold your ship docked forever, right? It's like, you're a ship for a reason. You're on a ship for a reason. We don't need to let all these other people's opinions and thoughts keep us docked forever. Sometimes we need to set sail and transform and do our own thing for a bit and do what makes us happy because, you know, that's what life's all about. So with that being said, let's go ahead and roll our Astro Dice three times to get the top three most likely zodiac signs to be in your life during the month of August. Let's see what we get here. This could also be a reflection of your own, by the way. We have a uh, Capricorn coming up as a, as a dominant zodiac sign. We also have Sagittarius, Capricorn, Sagittarius, and Aquarius. Capricorn, Sagittarius, and Aquarius are the top three most likely zodiac signs to be in your life in the month of August. They can even be a reflection of your own. And let's go ahead and roll all the Astro Dice all together. Get any last info for you. We have the sun in Libra. You're focusing on balance in the ninth house of travel and philosophy and growth and learning and all of that. Okay, couple things you are going to be learning a lot. There could even be a course that you're taking or something that you're investing in to learn and grow. There could be something like that. Um, I'm also seeing travel as another thing in this, just the fact that we have the ninth house here. You might be focused on how can I balance my life more? How can I create more freedom? The ninth house is also a lot about freedom, creating freedom, unhinging yourself from past obligations that kept your ship docked. I feel like you're ready to set sail. Like the ninth house, you are ready to set sail. So even if this doesn't mean travel in the literal sense, this could also just mean setting sail to look on your horizon, expanding yourself, expanding your horizons. I think that you're gonna be meeting the right people, having the right conversations. The fact that we have this Libra, your soul wants to expand. The fact that we have the sun here in the ninth house, the sun represents the soul. Your soul wants expansion. It is done staying docked. It is done being in the same place, doing the same things. You are so ready to expand yourself into more. And that's what you're gonna be doing in the month of August. And I feel like you're gonna be learning the things that you need to learn, gaining the wisdom that you need to gain in order to expand yourself. Um, there could even be like legal documents that you have to sign or do in the month of August, the fact that we also have Libra coming up here in the ninth house, and the fact that we also have the page of uh, swords, there could be some sort of like thing that you're signing or something that you're prepping for or something that you're like doing that maybe requires contracts or a lot of paperwork behind it, some sort of paperwork. Also, sorry, I just uh, tapped my microphone there. That might've been loud, but yeah. Lots of good things here, okay? Lots of balance, fairness, gaining what's fair. Look things over, 
If you are signing anything, look it over twice. Make sure that it is fair. Make sure that you're getting what you want when you do that. Finding balance, finding so much more balance when it comes to your schedule, when it comes to your freedom. I think that you're also gonna be learning how to schedule in more freedom in your life and that's gonna be really transformative for you. So that is what we have here, my beautiful group number ones. Thank you so much for joining me here today for your August prediction. I'm sending you all so much love and so much good energies for the month ahead and I'll see you next time. Bye. Okay, so group number two, if you chose this pile for your month of August, let's go ahead and find out what's in store for you. Okay, so group number two, we actually had this high priestess card fall out for you um, prior to me even like fully getting into this video and I just kept it off to the side because I felt like that was clearly a message that wanted to come out for you. Um, so starting off with the high priestess, this is gonna be a very intuitive month for you and I feel like you've been feeling some strong internal um, feelings that are maybe calling you towards doing something or um, getting certain ideas. Yeah, ideas are gonna be big for you in the month of August. When it comes to things that you wanna do, I feel like you're in the planning stage of something. I feel like you're in the planning stage of something new or having this new idea that you're like, ooh, let me think about that more. Let me plan that a little bit more. Let me see how that sort of plays out and works into my life. Um, so there could be something new that you are beginning. Uh, it's also a big learning month for you, but I just see like maybe reading. Maybe you've been really called to get deeper into reading lately or studying something or taking notes, journaling. Um, I'm definitely feeling journaling. I feel like there's certain transformative things that you've been starting to incorporate into your life that have been really positive for you. Um, and I see that you're trying to find more balance. There's been certain things that you have to deal with in your life that might be sort of annoying. It's like, oh, this form came in the mail and I have to deal with that. Or like all of a sudden this came up and I have to deal with that. I think it's been really busy for you. Um, and your month of August is about getting your stuff together and sorting it out and figuring out ways to get everything back under control so that you don't have all of these different fires to deal with and put out. You know, that saying, that expression of like, oh, I have a bunch of fires to put out. Um, your month of August is gonna be handling that so they're not really like, you don't have all these fires under your butt constantly. And I see you dealing with that in the beginning of August and getting most of that done, I feel like honestly, in the first five to 10 days of August, I see you just like dealing with things getting organized so that you no longer have those stresses on the back of your mind. And that's gonna really help you feel more freedom in your month and also feel like things are moving ahead, which is gonna help you focus on what you really want to focus on rather than focusing on all these little things that are like, oh, those are just like small little annoyances that keep coming up. We also have the Wheel of Fortune. So things are also really shifting for you in the month of August. Things are really shifting for you and they're shifting in a positive way. I feel like there could, also even be like a special surprise of some kind in the month of August. When the Wheel of Fortune comes up, sometimes it's like, like, ooh, we just won something, or ooh, like something's in our favor this month, or things just seem to be working out, they're in flow, especially when the Wheel of Fortune is upright. There could also be a lot finally happening this month. So, Maybe you've really wanted to make progress towards a certain destination and the Wheel of Fortune would indicate that we're making that progress and we're like, ooh, we're actually getting to our destination and all the twists and turns that I had to take along the way are leading me somewhere and this is like a progress sort of card. Let's see what else we get for you. Group two, what else do we have for my group twos? We have the moon card. Interesting that your reading is surrounded by the high priestess and the moon because they kind of have similar energies in those two cards and they also look similar. Like if we look at those, that looks similar. So in the month of August, I see you doing a lot of internal work and getting over fears or anxieties. I see you spending more time to create more calmness in your life and more peace. I feel like that's a big focus for you, wanting to create more calmness and more peace, but there's part of you that I feel like is also stepping into something new or creating something new. The moon can indicate that there's a new phase that we're about to approach, especially when it comes next to the Wheel of Fortune. Like the tides are turning a little bit in your life and you might start shifting your direction a little bit and this is a new direction for you, a direction you haven't been in before. 
And there could be some fears associated with that because the moon card, when it comes up, we're stepping into the unknown and we don't know what to expect. Therefore, it can be a little bit like a little scary, not necessarily scary. I don't want to use that word. That's such a, I don't know. It's like too intense for what this actually is. Um, this is more of just like, you know, when you, when you, I don't know, I don't know how to explain this. Like, let's say you have to like meet someone's family for the first time and you've never met them before. And there's like a little bit of nervousness. Cause you're like, I don't know what to expect. Ah, it's like that sort of feeling. Like, I don't know what to expect. And so we, we just have no basis. And so I feel like there's going to be new things coming into your life in the month of August, where it's that similar feeling of like, Ooh, I don't know what to expect. It's like stepping in a new direction, stepping into the unknown. But I see that things are going to be fine for you. Like you're going to be okay. And this new direction is actually going to bring you towards new opportunities and towards new paths. I also feel like this is a month of getting rid of any sort of clutter or awkwardness that you've had in your life when it comes to your schedule, your routine and getting things done that are just standing in the way. I feel like this is your month of decluttering, decluttering your mind, decluttering your schedule, possibly even doing an actual declutter of your life, of the things that you own so that you can feel more free. That's what I'm really feeling with this five of wands. And this is our focus card. It's right here in the center. The five of wands is our focus card. You're really like hashing things out so that you can have a clear um, space in your life and move into a new direction. But there is something new here that you're exploring and maybe you don't know what to expect there. Like maybe you're gonna be traveling somewhere new, going somewhere new or stepping foot into a new opportunity, stepping foot into a new experience in the month of August. Let's go ahead and dive into some more cards to see what else we get for you. So group two, we also have sacred sexuality coming up for you. This one indicates creativity. The sacred sexuality card doesn't always indicate like sexuality. Um, it can indicate our creativity, our levels of creativity. So in the month of August, we have power and sacred sexuality. I feel like you are conserving your energy more and you're more focused on where you're putting your energy. Because when we focus so much of our energy on things that we don't really want, all of a sudden we just feel drained and our energy drain so much faster when we say yes to doing something that we don't want to do. It's just like it steals our energy. I feel like this is a month of saying no to the things that you don't want, even if it kind of creates awkwardness, even if it creates this sort of like, like, eh, I feel like you're learning how to say no much more. And you're going to be saying no to the things that you don't want in order for you to take care of like things that maybe you've been putting off that have all of a sudden just accumulated to this like big pile of stuff that might be giving us stress. You're going to be dealing with that. And then you're going to be able to shift in this new direction of more freedom and to kind of focus your time on where you want to put it towards more creativity, towards having more fun and having the power to really voice things and to really get things done that have been again on the back burner for a little bit. Let's see what else we get for you. Group two, group two, group two. We also have the pillar trust and play. Ooh, when was the last time that you really allowed yourself to just let loose and have fun? Part of what I'm feeling in this, in this reading is this realization of, I want to incorporate more fun back into my life. This is something that I really see you doing how to have more fun, how to incorporate more fun, especially if you haven't given yourself time off lately, or if you haven't done something nice for yourself, I see that there's going to be certain experiences that you're able to invite into your life more to be able to enjoy, have joyful experiences and building more faith and trust in yourself, I think is going to be one of the biggest focuses of the month of August, being able to find more stability and trust in yourself. Mm. I see you creating more independence and making time to focus on what you really want to do. I also feel like there's going to be one particular person that you're going to be spending a lot of time with in the month of August. This could be like a friend or a family member or a partner. Uh, but I feel like there's one person in particular that you're spending a lot more time with and your connection is, is deepening in the month of August with this person. I see that you're just creating a deeper bond. There's like a lot of trust. I feel like 
There's also a lot of things that maybe you want to get off your chest and just talk about and to be like, oh my gosh, let me just like talk about all the things that are going on. And I feel like there's gonna be moments for that and it's gonna help bring you closer to this person. For some of you, I feel like this is a sister or a family member that you're really close to that you're like, oh, I just need to like talk with you. I need to get together with you. I have so much fun with you. It's gonna be something like that. Or this could be like a friend of yours that you're really close with or even your partner or even a different family member. But for a lot of you, for some reason, I keep getting this feeling of like feminine energy, like a sister or a sister-in-law or like a best friend that you might have. This could even be with your mom or your daughter if you have a daughter, um, but I'm feeling like this feminine energy for some reason, this feminine energy in your life where it's like, oh, I can like really trust this person and tell them everything that's going on in my life. And I know that they're gonna listen and be there for me. And I really feel like you're gonna have a friend that's like really there for you uh, through the month of August, especially when it comes to talking about all those different sort of things that you have to, that you're currently dealing with and doing. Although I really feel like that energy is gonna it's not gonna last long. I feel like you're gonna get through that and get done all of those different things really quickly. Um, and then getting back to a creative uh, place. So let's go ahead and dive into some more cards here. Group two. We have orphaned. Oh, sometimes I feel like you feel like you have to do everything by yourself. Oh, I get that feeling so strongly from you actually. My goodness, you are someone who you like to do everything on your own. You do not like to ask for help. And yeah, the high priestess with the moon here, like this is a month where I feel like you are going to see the power of friendship a lot. And you may even have, I feel like this person's gonna wanna help you with certain things that are going on in your life. I feel like this person's gonna really wanna help you and they're gonna help you see the bright side. And they're gonna help make things more fun for you. Um, I also see maybe even like, oh, we also have this one coming up, the tribe. The tribe is also coming up. So yeah, this person, this person's gonna be a really big focus for you in the month of August. And they're really gonna be helping you out. This could also be vice versa, by the way. You might even be, you might have someone else going through something like this in your life and you're gonna be the one that's like there and helping, helping them. But I really feel like this is more of having someone help you. Um, helping you... Whoa, why do we have all these backwards cards? How did I not notice these? Okay, we're gonna take all of these backwards cards. <laughs> Let's see if there's any more in this. Okay, yeah, I think we got them all now. Okay, so let's see. These clearly have a message for you. We have a change in the wind. Things are definitely shifting for you. Oh yeah, we had the Wheel of Fortune too. There's a whole new direction opening up in your life. If you've kind of been feeling a lot of stress lately and if there's just been a lot going on, you're, that's going to be handled. The 12th of the month, there's a change of pace. There's a change in the wind. You're going to find more freedom. You're going to have more time to allocate to having more fun or doing the things that you really want to focus on. Especially if you haven't had that lately, the month of August is going to bring that back for you. Um, we also have Yang, action. This is a month of taking action, especially in the beginning, getting things done, taking action to complete things that needed to be completed. Unfinished symphony, unfinished things. Things that you've been putting off are finally getting done this month. That's your biggest, that message just keeps coming up and coming up. You are taking care of like unfinished things, things that were maybe on the back burner for a while. There might even be a creative project that you've been wanting to finish or you've been wanting to spend more time on, but maybe it's been really hard to find the time to put towards this project. And maybe you're like, oh, when am I ever gonna have time to do this? When am I ever gonna have time to complete this idea? The month of August is bringing you the time that you need. And the month of August is helping you take action to actually make really good progress. Really, really good progress. I see you finishing the little things that have been kind of getting in the way and I see you completely clearing that out and then all of a sudden you're like, ooh, wait a minute, I have all this free time that I can now allocate to what I want, to getting all these things done that have been half projects so far. Ooh, I see this is gonna be a productive month for you. This is exciting. Let's go ahead and dive into our next deck. Oh, we have cards coming out right away. So we have the Golden Palace. 
that is such a significant card. This can talk about your home and improving the home. So some of you might be doing literal home improvements, but the Golden Palace can also indicate a vision that we're creating or a goal that we really wanna to get to and we're building that goal more. Like the foundation's been set, the idea's there, but now we're actually making progress towards building it into the physical reality. So this could be dealing with that project that you're working on and the fact that they have the, the pillar too. Some of you might literally be doing home improvements or some of you might be thinking of upgrading your home life in some way or building and finishing a big project, building and finishing like a vision. We also have the card of compass, shift in direction, a shift in pace. Uh, there could be a lot of planning of what you want to do in your future and seeing your direction, seeing what you want to do, seeing where you want to go. There could be a slight shift in your direction through the month of August as well. Let's see what else we get. Oh, I'm also, this is really standing out to me. It keeps shouting time, 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 time. If you've been struggling with finding time for things, I really think that your days are gonna look quite different, especially mid to end of August. How you spend your time is gonna look different. So when it comes to what you really wanna do and the things that you've wanted to make more time for, I see that things are gonna help, things are gonna be shifting in the month of August that allow you to put more time toward the things that matter most to you and the things that you've been wanting to make more time for. That's gonna be happening for you in the month of August. We also have Bird coming up for you and he has a little message here. There is, this card immediately made me think that there's a compliment that you're gonna be getting, a compliment from someone, where somebody genuinely tells you how much they appreciate you and all of the good qualities that they see in you. They have a very positive message for you. And at first you might just think like, oh yeah, thanks. But this is actually, it's saying to really pay attention to this message and this compliment because it's genuine. It's genuine and it is a good reflection of who you are. So if you do receive a really like deep compliment or detailed compliment in the month of August, it's saying to pay attention to that because it is a very good representation of you and your energy and you might need to hear it, okay? We also have bench. So if there's something that you've been sitting on, waiting on, waiting to happen, waiting for, that's gonna be happening for you in the month of August. Whatever it is that you've been waiting on or something that's been taking a long ass time, there's gonna be progress on that in the month of August. So with that being said, let's go ahead and dive into our Astra days. We're gonna roll the Zodiac sign days three times to get the top three most likely Zodiac signs to be in your life in the month of August. This could also be a reflection of your own Zodiac signs. So let's see who's the most prominent for you. We have Libra coming up, Aquarius, two air signs, and Aquarius again. So Aquarius is dominant. And then we, Aquarius again, what? <laughs> okay, let's try to get a third zodiac sign. We have Libra and Aquarius. Aquarius wanted to come up three times there, okay. And Virgo, okay, Libra, Aquarius, and Virgo. Those are the top three most likely zodiac signs to be in your life in the month of August. This could also be a reflection of your own zodiac signs. And let's go ahead and take all of these together now to get any last information for you. So we have the North Node, your purpose and your direction, being in the zodiac sign of Aries in the sixth house of schedule, routine, and work and health and environment. Okay, the North Node. I feel like you're really wanting to make your environment much better. And when it comes to your schedule, you're really wanting to change your schedule. I feel like you want to have an entire revamp on your schedule, your routine, possibly even your health. You might even be focused on shifting your diet in a new way or trying a new diet or trying a new workout routine or trying something new for your health. Um, so that's coming up there. This can also, again, indicate our environment. So there could be this idea to move to a new environment or to change your environment in some way. Doing renovations could definitely be a thing for you or improving, again, your environment in some way, shape or form. Also with the sixth house, your time. Time and schedule is heavily within the sixth house and our work. I feel like you're wanting to expand into something new here and do a revamp 
and have like a new beginning. Aries is like that very new kind of energy and the North Node is our purpose and what we're moving towards. So I think that you're gonna be moving towards and building something new when it either comes to your work, schedule, house, routine, environment, and things like that. Things that are within those categories. There's a lot of action for you. There's a lot of fiery energy. We have the two fire cards here and then three major arcana cards. So this is a fiery month for you of getting things done and putting out those fires that have been under your butt and giving you stress for a while. It's getting those things done so that they're no longer giving you stress. So, ooh, and if something's been unfinished for a while, if there's been, maybe some of you guys have been stuck in like renovations or waiting. Oh my gosh, there's another message for you guys. Holy crap, this is, I can't believe I missed this. If there's something that you've been waiting for, maybe you're waiting for other people to catch up and get something done, or maybe you're waiting on something to get to completion, like such as a renovation or waiting for your employees to do something or waiting for your boss to do something or waiting for something to finish before you're allowed to take action or waiting until you have all of these other things done before you feel ready to have enough space and time to allocate towards what, what you want to actually spend your time doing. There's something that you feel like you've been waiting on. It's like we've had to sit and wait and we're just like, oh my gosh, when is this going to happen? When is this going to be done? When is this going to just like finish? Like you're waiting on something that will happen in the month of August. It will be finished. There's this unfinished thing that you've just been waiting on, waiting on, waiting on. This is the month of getting it done. This is the month of being able to move on from that. Okay. Like bam, there it is. <laughs> oh my gosh. So that is what we have here for you. Group number two. It looks like there's going to be some progress happening. Finally, a change of pace, a change in the winds so that you're not waiting around anymore and feeling like things are just going so slow and all that. Um, so very positive things here for you, group number two. Thank you so much for joining me here today for your reading. I'm sending you all the positive, loving energies through the month of August. Thank you so much for joining me here and I'll see you next time. Bye. All right, so my group number threes, if you chose this pile, this is gonna be a reading for the month of August. So let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, group three, the month of August, we have the Fool coming up for you. This is a exciting card. This is sort of, becoming more free, feeling like we have more freedom, maybe even starting a new journey, starting a new project, wanting to release some things. Ooh, wanting to release some things. You might be like downsizing or getting rid of unnecessary stuff because the fool is a card that is very minimal. So there could be an aspect of yourself that is like wanting to do a huge decluttering of your life that's what I'm hugely feeling for you as one of the aspects for the month of August is doing a massive decluttering and wanting to feel more emotionally in flow, wanting to feel positive energy. You've been really sensitive to energy lately with the King of Cups. Like you've been more sensitive to everything and you, I feel like you want more flow and I feel like you're focused on the vibe that you get from certain things. So you might be in a mood to redecorate or to declutter, to organize, to get rid of certain stuff so that you can feel fulfilled. And this is also a month where you're gonna be much more focused on your fulfillment. And I feel like you're realizing what's truly fulfilling for you. And maybe one of your biggest realizations lately is like, oh, stuff does not fulfill me. In fact, it makes me more stressed and makes me more anxious and just cluttered and all that. So I feel like you're wanting more flow and you're going to be, um, spirits giving me this image of a river flowing, but like a dam in the river and you're just wanting to release that so you can come back into flow. Um, there could also even be an emotional release that you end up having in the month of August. But if it is a, an emotional release, I see it being so positive. Like I see this being a very positive, like, oh, I love this new feeling. I love this. I love what I did. I love that I took the time to do this. I love that I brought my focus to this. Um, I'm feeling like you're much more focused on the things that, that fulfill you. What is truly fulfilling for you? Is reading fulfilling? Is journaling fulfilling? Is having a minimal lifestyle fulfilling? Is going to the beach fulfilling for you? Is 
taking spa nights and doing self-care fulfilling for you. I just feel like you're going to be so much more focused on what is truly fulfilling and you're getting rid of all the clutter in your life that's not. You're getting rid of all that busyness. Like, ugh, I feel like you're so ready to declutter busyness from your life, group three. Um, seven of pentacles being reversed here as well. Seven of pentacles. There's been something that you've been waiting for the progress on. This is something that you've been putting time and effort into and you know it's gonna pay off in the long term, but you may not have seen progress on it yet. But there's something that I feel like you're doing that you know is gonna pay off in the long term. You know that you might not see progress right away. Ooh, this could also deal with that like decluttering, getting rid of stuff, minim minimalizing your life and all of that. Or it could even do with like another project that you're working on or something. Something that you're doing, you're dedicating to something that you know is going to pay off in the long term in the month of August. And I feel like you're more focused on those things. You're more focused on that long term fulfillment rather than quick gratification in the month of August. And I feel like, ooh, you are focused on where you spend your time and energy this month as well. And I feel like you're making new plans and new rules when it comes to your life and you're just like vibing. I just see you focused on the vibes of your life in this month and focused on making things beautiful, making things feel nice. I see you doing a deep clean with the King of Cups. I see you doing a deep clean of your life. And this could be like a deep clean mentally, a deep clean emotionally, and a deep clean maybe even physically in your life. Um, let's see what else we have. We also have the Four of Swords coming up and we have a bunch of other cards, okay. Four of Swords, you are going to be focused on getting enough rest and relaxation as well, especially if you've been feeling like maybe you haven't been lately. Uh, rest, and relaxation, rest and relaxation is gonna be a big thing for you, making time and space for that. We also have the Six of Pentacles coming up, finding more balance in your life, balancing out your routine, balancing out your schedule, especially because like, I feel like you're quite busy and I feel like you've been wanting more free time You've been manifesting having more free time. That's happening for you. I also see you getting some sort of help from someone. Like someone might be like, oh, I'll help you declutter. Or, hey, I'll take some of that extra stuff that you don't want anymore. Oh, I see you doing that actually. I see you giving away stuff and having people to give it away, away to. And you're like, oh, I'm so happy to get this off my hands. I'm so happy that I don't have to have all this clutter anymore. And that I feel like there's gonna be someone who's so happy to take it. This is ultra specific, by the way. This is getting so specific. We also have Ace of Cups here. Lots of cup cards for you. You're really focused on fulfillment. And uh, oh, you're filling your cup in August. You are filling your cup in the month of August. It's gonna feel good. This is gonna be a good month for you, group three. It's gonna be a very positive, good month for you. And we have the Wheel of Fortune. Wow, that one came up for the last group too. Interesting. Your direction is gonna be shifting. Whenever Wheel of Fortune comes up upright in a reading, it's a very positive up level in our life. It's like things are up leveling, things are improving, things are getting better. And it can also indicate that we land on a jackpot and we're really happy. Maybe there's an idea that you have that you're like, ooh, that feels really good. That's a jackpot, that's a win. There's some sort of win, winning feeling that you have in the month of August. Like, ooh, that happened. There could even be, like maybe you've been waiting to hear good news from work. Maybe you've been wanting to have something take off in your life. Maybe you've been really wanting to have something go really well and get some really good news. I see you getting good news about something, something going really well in the month of August for you. It's like, oh, finally that hit the jackpot. That was a win for me. That I did something right there. I put effort into that and that really paid off. There's something that I feel like is gonna pay off in the month of August and fulfillment. This is a month that you're gonna feel fulfilled and you're focused on your energy and how you spend your energy. It's very positive, like group number three, hello. Um, this is so good, I'm loving this. Okay, let's go ahead and dive into some more cards here. Which ones do we wanna go into next? Let's go here. So group three, group three, group three, the month of August. We also have Paradox. There's gonna be something that I feel like makes you laugh in the month of August. Cause it's, oh, you know what's an interesting paradox actually? 
some there's actually many paradoxes that are within this reading and i think that you're realizing a lot of these things such as owning a lot of stuff does not fill your cup more it oddly empties it sometimes and that's a weird paradox right because it's like you'd think the opposite was true another interesting paradox is when we think we need to work harder to get more success Sometimes the harder we work, the less successful we are because we're giving all of our time and our energy and our fulfillment away to something that might not actually be paying off what we're giving into it, what we're paying for it. So we're paying all of our time and our energy towards working harder, but then what we get in return might not actually be equal to that. So maybe working less actually brings us more. That's a weird paradox as well, right? So I feel like your your life is full of these um, like funny little realizations and these interesting paradoxes in the month of August where it's like, oh my God, if only I knew that working less made me more abundant. And if only I knew, and I'm not saying that, like we obviously need to work to make money to get by and work can be so passionate and fulfilling too. Like I am so passionate and fulfilled by my work that I love to work. But at the same time, if I overwork, that's also not good, right? So we do need to have that balance. And I feel like you're really finding that balance in the month of August when it comes to your time, your work, the things that you own, all of that, creating more fulfillment in those areas. I feel like there's like, your life is entering a fulfilling kind of stage and you're also releasing the things that are just no longer serving you. The death card, you're shedding old skin, you're getting rid of old stuff and you're manifesting some news. Like, ooh, actually, um, I get a good feeling from this. You're releasing the old and I really feel like it's making room for you to manifest something new in your life. Oh yeah. You're manifesting something new that is really fulfilling, but it's like truly fulfilling. Something that's truly fulfilling for you where it's like, oh, it's progress and it's impactful and it's, it's bigger. Yeah, this is really positive. Group three, my goodness, this is like ultra positive. Maybe you're listening to this right now and you're like, Ugh, this is too good to be true, but truly this is like what's coming up for you. So pff, yeah, it's really positive. Okay, we also have the warrior. I feel like you're so ready for certain things in your life right now. You are so ready for change, for transformation, to cut things away, to say no to certain stuff that was just too much, too much clutter, too much this, too much that. Oh, you're so ready. And I feel like it's gonna make so much more energetic room for you to focus your energy where it really matters for you and it's going to be really positive in that aspect yeah also for some of you um there's going to be something that's emotionally really exciting for you so this could be like deepening the love with a partner of yours this could even be like developing a relationship more if there's someone that you're interested in but i do see a lot of like positive emotional things happening for you there could even be a new exciting emotional thing happening for you with the fool card being here there's a lot of good fortune that you're raking in like there's good karma coming in for you good karma coming in in the month of august so very positive stuff here let's dive into our next deck why is there always these overturned, this is weird. This happened to the last group too, where there's like an already overturned card. And this one, I don't know. Okay, loyal heart, interesting. I do feel like a deep connection with somebody. That's what we were just talking about actually. And this is like a random overturned card. That's so weird. Okay, there is a deep connection in the month of August that's very significant. Again, I, I feel like this could be um, like, progressing in a relationship that you have. So if you're already in a relationship with someone, I see progression there. I'm seeing a deepening or an up-leveling with that relationship. Definitely deepening, it's like, yeah, deepening. There could be some conversations about your future with this person or things like that. And I just feel like there's a very positive connection here. If love is not in the books for you and that doesn't make sense for your life, this card would indicate that you have your eyes set on something and you're feeling very fulfilled, like your heart is being fulfilled by something. This could be within your career or within a, a goal that you really wanna create or something like this. This could even be in a friendship or with a family member. But for most of you, I do feel like this is like a more romantic relationship that's really up-leveling and um, deepening in the month of August. 
We also have truth be told. You are also opening your heart up so much. You are ready to release. You're ready to be open. You're ready to be honest. You are just so ready to come, come out. Like I'm feeling this, this coming out feeling of like not letting fear hold you back. This is just a month where you feel freedom to be you. This is a month that you feel freedom to be you and to do the things that you're currently being called towards. I also think that someone's going to open up more feelings towards you in the month of August. If you're in a relationship, there's someone like writing you love notes or, or opening their heart deeper or a conversation where there is more feelings being expressed. There's a deepness. There's a deepening in your love life in the month of August. And again, for those of you that are single, that that doesn't make sense to you. I feel like you're opening to love and there's a, a spreading or sharing of more love in your life, regardless, whether that be self-love or love with a friendship or a family member. I do see a lot of self-love though. I just feel like you're more fulfilled. And one of the outcomes of being more fulfilled is also creating more self-love. When we're fulfilled, inevitably, it also creates more self-love because we're loving where we are in life. We feel fulfilled, we feel good and all of those good feelings. For some of you, I'm seeing being surrounded by flowers for some reason. So somebody might be buying you flowers or maybe you just feel like being surrounded by nature, starting a garden, buying a plant or planting some flowers of some kind. But I just see like being surrounded by flowers for some reason. So that could be an aspect of some kind. Let's see what else we have for you here. We also have rescue and solitude. Mm. I see you're making more time for yourself, more time for yourself. And I feel like you've been craving that too. I feel like you've been craving having more time for you. And I see you also processing old emotions, like some old emotions that maybe weren't so great for you. I feel like those are clearing out. I feel like this is your month of like clearing out the old, shedding the old, inviting in the new. It's going to feel really good. I feel like you're going to be feeling safe. Like you feel more safe to be open, to be more vulnerable, to be more truthful, to have deep talks. You feel safe to do so. And if some of you have been wanting to manifest getting out of an old phase of your life, you have someone rescuing you from your tower of your old phase, your old phase. Like maybe not even just someone rescuing you. It's just like the, the rescue in general is happening. It's just like you're being rescued from maybe being stuck in something. There was something that maybe kept you stuck in the previous months. You are being totally removed from that situation. You are unstucking yourself. You're being like, we have rescue and solitude. This is the tower. And I'm just thinking of like Rapunzel or something like that, where you're being rescued or like Princess Peach being rescued. Like there's, there's something along those of like, of no longer being stuck in a negative phase or no longer being stuck somewhere that you didn't want to be. Like that's coming up really predominantly here. Being rescued so that you're not, you're no longer stuck where you don't want to be. So there's something happening that's get, getting you unstuck and removing you from a, an old situation that wasn't so good. So that could be mentally, that could be emotionally being able to do that. So that is also coming up for you for the month of August. So with that being said, let's dive into some more cards. Honestly, before going into our last deck, I really feel like pulling out maybe more cards from this one. Let's see. Group three. What else do we have? Ooh, we have by the book. By the, why is that also in my head sounding like buy the book, like purchase the book, purchase the book. There could be like a significant book that you're drawn towards reading in the month of August. Maybe you are already, as you're watching this, maybe there's a book on your mind that you're like, Ooh, I want to read that next. I want to buy that. That's coming up. It's just like, buy it, do it. We also have the elephants here and the elephant here. Elephants might be significant to you in some way. If you see elephants around elephants indicate wisdom and they indicate slow, but sure progress. And they are also very minimal. They don't need a whole lot. They are self-sustainable. They they, they got what they got. They got what they need. And elephants might be a big, um, they're also good luck. Elephants are good luck. If you ever get gifted an elephant, which I was gifted this elephant by my beautiful friend who went to, I think she got this one in Morocco, maybe even Thailand or something. But when you get gifted an elephant, it's good luck. 
And elephants, I feel like, are your animal in the month of August. So there's good luck for you in the month of August, my beautiful group threes. And there's three elephants here and you're group number three. So three might be a very common number for you in the month of August and elephants, okay? Those are your signs. You have good luck coming your way, okay? There's value here that's gonna be happening. Elephants are also wisdom. So, mm, lots of good things. There's gonna be wisdom through learning, through reading. There's gonna be growth there and also good luck. Good luck is coming your way, okay? I'm also hearing randomly, if you made a wish at 11, 11 at night, if you're randomly like, if that happened recently to you, like within the past couple weeks or something where you're like, oh, it's 11, 11, make a wish. If that happened to you recently, I feel like the universe is coming through being like, it is granted. It is being manifested. I don't know why I just heard that. It was a random little side note, but that was a random little thing that came up. So let's see what else we get for you. We also have, I think that's a fish card coming up, which is very connected to Pisces energy. But the fish is also another good luck symbol. And it's also a symbol of peace and balance. There's peace and balance coming into your life, feeling more peaceful, at ease, feeling emotionally balanced, emotionally connected, emotionally fulfilled. We also have the ocean. Some of you might be literally traveling more towards a body of water or spending more time at the ocean, but the ocean can also symbolize the ebbs and flows of life. You are gonna be receiving good karma. The ocean is carrying you somewhere good. And also I feel like you're being more, you're coming into more emotional balance and your emotions are very deep very deep and i feel like you've explored depths emotionally in your life and one of the messages that i'm getting is like you're getting at peace the ocean is calming down your ocean it is so vast it is so big and this month you're learning the calmness that can happen in the ocean like sometimes the ocean can be crazy but sometimes the ocean can also be so calm that you're like is this like a lake right now is this a calm lake on a calm day with no wind I feel like this is a month where you're gonna find like emotional peace. We also have horse and hammer. Horse is freedom and independence and hammer is working and making progress towards something. There's a lot of movement forward for you, but it's coming from a place of emotional peace where it's not just this busy chaotic energy, it's this balanced energy of progress, of putting the work in. I also think that there's gonna be like a fun, exciting project for you that you're making quite a lot of progress on and you're gonna feel like as if you're in the flow state this month. So with that being said, I also feel like your crown chakra is being activated. This fish card just keeps screaming at me, crown chakra, crown chakra. I feel like you're, you're really able to like trust this month to let go and allow the flow of things to happen. And I think it's gonna really bring you to good positive places. So with that being said, let's dive into our Astro Dice. We're gonna roll this one three times to get the top three most likely zodiac signs that are gonna most likely be in your life in the month of August. So let's see what we get for you. Keep in mind, this could also be a reflection of your own zodiac or astrology signs. We have Libra coming up. Aquarius, Libra and Aquarius have been coming up for like everyone. Why are these so common all of a sudden? Libra and Aquarius and Gemini. Wow, we have all three air signs for you, group three. That's interesting. Now let's roll all of these together to get any last information for you for the month of August. So let's see. My group threes, we have Uranus in Taurus in the 10th house work. Work is changing up for you in some way. Or this could be a big goal that you have is there's gonna be unexpected positive shifts that bring you closer towards it, making progress. Uranus in the sign of Taurus. Uranus is literally transiting through the zodiac sign of Taurus as we speak, which is making a lot of shifts monetarily for us. But I really oddly see a positive shift in your money because the 10th house can also deal with money. It deals with career, climbing the ladder, getting to higher heights. There could be unexpected opportunities coming for you in the month of August that bring you towards more abundance or bring you to more career progress. Like this could all of a sudden be something like, ooh, more money is coming in in our job. All of a sudden we get a random promotion or all of a sudden we get a random bonus or all of a sudden there's like a positive uplift or opportunity even for us to climb higher in career or make more money or make progress here. So 
that's really good. Um, if any of you work in like social media or do things online or work in a laptop lifestyle, this is going to be a very positive month for you in terms of money, career and finance and wealth and progress and advancement and success. This is going to be a very positive month for you. Um, Uranus also changes things up though. So this could be like unexpected. Like maybe we feel like, Ooh, I'm going to unexpectedly all of a sudden do this new venture, or I'm going to all of a sudden make this shift or there's yeah, again, new opportunities or things like that. I'm sure you get the point by now, but there's that happening here, but this could also, even if you don't work in social media or anything like that, or if you don't have a laptop lifestyle and you don't do anything online, I'm still seeing progress for you regardless, but there is like online, some sort of like success or some sort of random thing that you come across. That's like, Oh, that's so helpful. <laughs> like all of a sudden discovering AI and being like, Oh my God, that's so helpful. Something like that. I don't know. That is what's coming up here for you. My beautiful group number threes. Thank you so much for joining me here today for your August prediction. I'm sending you so much love to you and to your month of August ahead. And until next time, bye. All right. So my group number fours, if you chose this pile, this is going to be your reading. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. All right. So group four, let's see, we have the queen of swords being reversed here. Okay. The month of August, queen of swords being reversed. Your mindset is going to be shifting in the month of August. Ooh, we also have page of swords being reversed. The hierophant being reversed. Mm, I think that you're ready for a shift. You're ready for a bit of a change in your life. We also have the devil. Okay. Ooh, I think that your focus is shifting in the month of um, August. Also, I'm kind of getting this feeling like you want to be able to have a longer attention span that's coming up, like your mental focus, your ability to focus on what you want and the ability to stay dedicated to something without changing your mind or falling off track with it. I feel like you're really ready to let go of some kind of old habits that have been weighing on you and taking you away from what you really want. Some of these habits are spending a lot of time on your phone or on your computer or on social media or doing a lot of things that are a little bit more distracting rather than productive. And I feel like you're really ready to cut some of those things out, but you feel kind of tied to some of them. In some way you feel tied to focusing on things that you don't really want to focus on. And I feel like you really want to shift your focus. The month of August for you is all about shifting your focus and shifting your mindset because I almost feel like, like it's really easy to like pick up our phones or pick up our computer or pick up a video game, for example, and get distracted with it. And it feels good in the moment, but then afterwards you're always like, dang, I just wasted so much time again doing that when I could have been focusing that time and energy towards something else. And I think that that's something that you're going to really be working on cutting out in the month of August, or at least some form of habit. Like I'm just throwing that out as an example, but that's most likely the habit here, considering we have two sword cards representing what it is that you're wanting to stop doing. This could also be just like limiting thoughts, limiting thoughts that come up or harsh thoughts when it comes to ourselves. Like maybe you've been hard on yourself lately and the month of August is about growing out of that and, and really beginning to uplift yourself rather than tearing yourself down. Cause whenever we're hard on ourselves, we tend to be hard on ourselves because we think that we're hopefully going to change or stop doing those things. But when we're hard on ourselves, we're kind of just digging ourselves into a hole and then we don't feel good. And then we don't feel like doing the things that we are trying to inspire ourselves to do. So instead when we approach it differently and we approach it with a different mindset and instead we, we in just inspire ourselves to move in a new direction rather than being so hard on ourselves. If we're more allowing, we're more okay, and then we focus on the good feelings, we focus on the inspiration, it can really help out. So that's something that I'm just sort of seeing here for you. And with the four of cups being reversed, 
oh man, there is something coming up in August that's gonna really help shift your focus. This card's all about shifting your focus. And that's something that we've been like talking about through this whole reading so far. You were once focused on all the things that were not as fulfilling and not really giving you what you want. And I see you shifting. I see you shifting towards a bigger goal, towards a bigger dream that might take a little bit more dedication. It might take a bit more of your time and your focus, but it's gonna be so worth it. And I see yourself, I see you pulling yourself out of this stuck energy where we felt almost chained to an old habit or changed to an old or changed to an old mindset or something like this. And I just really see you shifting it. And it's so interesting that we have the hierophant and the devil, because this is kind of like the priest and the devil, which is really interesting. And then the priest is reversed and the devil's upright. So it's almost like the things that we really value, we haven't been giving enough time and enough energy to the things that we really, really value. Like, do you value being on your phone a lot or do you value giving your time and energy away to like video games or other things or being hard on yourself? Or do you really value something else? Do you value your health? This could also deal with like your diet or how you spend your time. Like what's really meaningful to you and what's really gonna get you where you wanna be, right? What's gonna really get you where you wanna be? Because this stuff is just gonna hold you back, right? But then there's other stuff that's gonna you know, maybe take a little bit more time and energy, a little bit more focus, but the value is so much more worth it. And I feel like your values are changing in the month of August and you're gonna be uh, valuing different things a little bit more and creating bigger goals for yourself. So that's one main thing that I'm seeing here for you for your month of August. Another thing that I'm seeing is maybe we also have certain people that are around us that might induce some of these habits for us and might like almost create the space for us to dive into some habits more often that we don't want to and so there might be certain people in your life that maybe in the month of august you're going to start slowly you know creating your own bubble creating your own space rather than surrounding yourself by people who are not really supporting the new vision that you have um so that's another aspect of this Let's see what else we get for you. We also have the sage. Yeah, you're definitely doing a cleansing and a clearing in the month of August. You're clearing out stuff that no longer serves you, serves you. And you're also clearing out things that are distractions. Let's see what else we have. We have paradox. Wow, it came up for another group too. It's so interesting because with paradox, I feel like there's gonna be funny realizations for you in the month of August, and you're also gaining the strength to really have some breakthroughs this month. Some of you might be putting off reading that you really wanted to do, like with the Hierophant Reverse, there could be some form of reading that you really wanted to get done that maybe we've been putting it off for way too long. And this is the month where I feel like you're gonna be diving deeper into those things that we've been running away from per se. I also feel like with this card, there's something that maybe we were avoiding. So. Is there something in your life that you're avoiding? Like avoiding looking at a problem, avoiding having a certain conversation or avoiding conflict, avoiding disruption or avoiding taking action on your goal. Maybe you're avoiding taking action on your goal because maybe it's a scary thing to take action on your goal. So it's easier to just like fill our time and space with other things meanwhile. But there's this sort of energy of, of avoidance and the month of August is more like, okay, are we gonna make some changes here or are we gonna keep avoiding? We also have higher perspective. Like you're coming to a higher place in your life where I think that you're gonna just be seeing things from a new level and almost kind of, I feel like you're getting this more lighthearted energy, more lighthearted. Like maybe in the past you were really hard on yourself, but I feel like this month, you're learning how to be more lighthearted and how to really move into a new mental space and a new space in general and getting the power to really like, you know, kick your butt into gear when it comes to certain things that you've been wanting to do. Like, how can you really kick your butt into gear here in this next month? Because I feel like that's something that's, that's a really prominent theme for you is wanting to push yourself to really make change. There's almost been this frustration because it almost feels like there's resistance towards moving toward your goals and what you actually want to become, what you actually want to be. 
there's almost some resistance there. And that resistance could be fears, like fear of failure, fear of rejection, fear of, of whatever, or just this type of distraction that's been getting in the way. But this month, I really feel like it's about calling your power back, gaining that higher perspective, and going for what you really want, clearing away the negativity so that you can take action on that. Let's see what else we get for you. We also have Loyal Heart. Wow, some of these cards came up for the other groups too. That's really interesting. I feel like this is your month of, of loyalty. Loyalty to your promises, loyalty to yourself, loyalty to the change that you wanna make. Never ending story. What has been your never ending story? What has been a story that you haven't been able to break from before? Because I feel like this is your month of getting this power and this warrior energy to make some really big change. I really think that this is your month of like, let's just make the change. Let's just do it and let's dedicate. Never ending story. What has been your never ending story? Ask yourself. One of the best questions to ask yourself when it's really hard to make change is, what would my life be like one year from now if I still don't change? What would it be like? And be detailed and really start to imagine your life one year from now if you don't make the changes that you're trying to make. And then ask yourself the same question, but make it five years from now. What would your life be like five years from now? What would your life be like 10 years from now? Because that really puts things into perspective. That gives you a higher perspective of how things are currently going. And then ask yourself, what would my life be like one year from now if I dedicate to this change now? If I just dedicate myself to this change, what would my life be like one year from now? Make it detailed. And then ask yourself, five years from now, 10 years from now, what would my life be like if I made that change now and I stuck to it? Because gaining that higher perspective and that bigger picture of what we're actually creating in our life and what our potentials could actually be if we start making those changes now really puts things into perspective and helps give us that sort of power and that energy of like, oh my gosh, I am not staying stuck to the same old things anymore. I'm not doing it. And we get out of our never ending stories. We get out of those repetitive patterns and habits that just keep us stuck. Like she doesn't look too happy right here. And it feels like the time, we're just letting our time go into this same repetitive pattern, but instead, we can start building a new story. We're in control of that, right? You're in control of what you choose to do right now. And I just feel like this is a, this is a month where you're really feeling the buildup of, of energy that really wants to shift, that really wants to change. So is this gonna be the month for you, group number four? Is this gonna be the time of making that shift, of making that change or making new promises to yourself? Because Based on what we got here, I really feel like this is your month of like making these promises to yourself and keeping them. And the amount of self-respect that you build when you make a promise to yourself and you actually keep it, whew, you build up so much more rapport to yourself. Because imagine like, you, you know, I've, I'm sure we've all had that friend once that would make all these promises but never actually keep them. And that was always so frustrating and it makes you lose faith in them and it makes you lose trust in them. But the same thing happens on our personal relationships with ourselves. So if we make ourselves promises but we keep backing out of them, we lose like self-respect, right? But when you can uphold those, ooh, the amount of self-respect that you build, and I just feel like this is your month of building self-respect, getting yourself to a higher place, really dedicating to change, and it's like this huge transformative month for you. Like, I feel like this is the month where you could create a lot of change. We also have rock bottom and storm fields. So if you felt like you've hit a rock bottom at some point, maybe you feel like you're there even right now, this is the perfect place to make change. This is your perfect place to shift your path. Look at these two different paths. This is your perfect time to completely change your story. Storm fields. There might be a lot shifting in your life right now, and this is your month of being able to blow up a storm and shift everything. I really feel like the more emotion that we get behind what's going on in our lives, it empowers us to actually like become a warrior. We could either let that heavy emotion weigh on us and stop us from making change, but then what good is that? Or we could use that heavy emotion to say, I am never doing this again. I'm no longer perpetuating this story. I am climbing out of this and I'm gonna use all my strength and might and I'm gonna do it, right? And I just feel like you can become this tornado to completely reframe your life, to reframe your story and to completely like eradicate the things that you don't want anymore. 
I just feel like you could really use this energy to be your own tornado to completely shift your life in a very positive, positive way. And the fact that we have the 10 and the nine, that's sticking out to me so much right now in these cards. And this is also a 10 right here with the three and the seven. It equals like a one um, if you add three and seven. So in numerology anyway, it equals a one. So that's also a one and then that's a nine. So the nines are completions of phases. You are completing a phase. You will never have to be here any longer. You're at this completion stage. And the ones are new beginnings. You are opening the doorway to somewhere new. I really feel like this is your month of being so loyal to yourself and being like, I'm gonna be loyal to myself from here on out. And it's gonna, it's gonna uh, perpetuate really big shifts moving forward. I also feel like taking out more cards from this deck. So let's do it. Let's go with it. Let's see what else we get for you. Group four. Ooh solitude i think that you're taking time for yourself this month to really renew things into the unknown yeah i mean you're stepping onto a new path this is your month of creating a new path doing something new this you even be, might be taking time out for yourself this month to really step away from old habits and you might even be becoming like i don't know i'm just hearing this word of like grounding yourself in the way of like, like I'm taking away my phone so that I can't even go onto it. I'm deleting certain apps so I can't get distracted. I am putting this video game in a box and I'm taping it shut and I'm not allowed to open that like for three months or something or whatever, like whatever rules you're making on yourself. I feel like you're like creating certain barriers in your life that are going to keep you on track, right? Yeah, I just, I just feel like you're you're doing like positive restriction in your life. Restriction that's gonna make and evoke change for you. Uh, <laughs> and it's gonna help you walk into the unknown. It's gonna help you open up this new chapter in your life. And I feel like it's gonna be a very positive chapter for you. It's gonna be really good. If, you had any, if you've had any dreams lately about storms happening, about things shifting or heavy winds or tornadoes or anything like that, if you've had those dreams, that is indicating that you are attracting change your way. It's indicating the emotions within you that also are attracting a release that want to be released and want to create change. Like your whole internal soul right now wants so badly to create change. So this is your month, my love. This is your month. You have all the energy. You have all of the mental and emotional strength right now to make permanent change to end the never ending story. You have the power to shift that right now. And your story is never ending. It doesn't have to shut off right now. So your, um, what I mean by that is you might feel like you're stuck in a perpetuating repetitive story, but your story does not have to end with this pattern, right? Your story can shift to a brand new one, right? This is not the end all be all. This is like the beginning of a brand new story. You're literally beginning a brand new story right now. So hopefully that's, makes, that's making sense. Um, sometimes my words fumble out of my mouth and sometimes I wonder if they actually make sense, but <laughs> they make sense in my head. So hopefully that was clear. So let's go ahead and move on to our next deck of cards here. And let's see, group four, what else do we have for your month of August? Flower bouquet, this is a glow up. This card is the card of glowing up. Um, I'm also gonna brighten my camera. I did not realize it's getting like kind of dark right now. Okay, this card right here, the flower bouquet, is a glow up. There's something, this is your month to glow up, my love. This is your month to bloom. You're blooming right now. You are creating certain ends and what's the word I'm looking for? Like finishes, not finishes, but like conclusions. You're creating certain conclusions because you're like a new seed that's sprouting and this is your month of blooming. And then we also have heart. Listening to your heart. I feel like your heart wants to be more active, my love. That's something that I'm hearing. Maybe you are already an active person. You're like, what are you talking about? That makes no sense. But I feel like for a lot of you, maybe there's been a lot of sitting like maybe you sit a lot, your body wants to move more, like going on walks or something, something more endurance based. Not like, not like, I feel like spirit right now, like strength training is good. Strength training is super positive, but for some reason right now with the heart card, it's cardio, like endurance based type of movement 
that's what your body's craving right now based on these cards. And if you've been feeling that message too internally, then maybe that's, maybe that's something that's uh, coming up for you there. I am also hearing it's going to improve your energy. Getting more sun is also going to improve your energy. I'm hearing just getting outside more, getting up off, off of your butt, I guess, and being on your feet. Being on your feet, walking, being in the sun, doing those things that are healthy, I really feel like that's gonna be so positive for you and I feel like it's gonna help you. It's almost like a meditative thing when we go on walks and we get more sun. Like when we go on walks, it boosts our creativity and that's actually something that I was reading in this book recently. This book is called Time Magic by Melissa and Nick. I don't remember their last names. But the Time Magic book talks about the health improvements of walking and getting sun and it's really profound how many health benefits that that actually has. Anyway, that's coming up with the heart card. I also feel like your heart is really craving a shift. Your heart is craving it. This is your month. This is your month to glow up. Put more effort into yourself. Another thing that I'm seeing here is putting effort into you. Investing into you. I feel like you are ready for a glow up. Do a glow up this month. I see it happening for you. Like I see you getting inspired to change yourself, change your image, change your identity, and change your life. That's what I'm getting from this. Like. I feel like you're ready for something new. I feel like you're ready to be a new person. You know what I mean? Like, oh, you're so done with the old. Like, you're so done with the old. You're just so over it. <laughs> and I just see you being creative. Like, this is a time where you get to be creative. You almost have this blank canvas in front of you right now. Like, I see you as this blank canvas where you're just so ready to paint something new and scrap the old. You're done with the old. And so, yeah. There's gonna be like a glow up. Um, also, if you've been hard on your self image, the sage card can indicate that we've been hard on ourselves uh, and the way that we view ourselves. So your self image, maybe you've been really harsh on yourself. This is also a month where you're gonna be healing that. You're gonna be healing that and you're putting more effort, more time in, and investing into you and that's gonna really like lift you up. That is going to lift you up. Whew. There's a lot of shifts, my love. There's a lot of shifts and I see like, you're only going up from here. There's the spirit really wants you to know that. The fact that we have this rock bottom card and then the higher perspective and then the storm fields, I'm just seeing you floating higher. Like this is, this is where things are going up. They're not coming back down. You're going up from here, okay? Trust that, know that and commit, like commit, loyal, loyalty. Being loyal to yourself, loyal to your heart, loyal to your heart. We have double hearts right here. This is your month of being loyal to you, to your heart. What is your heart craving? What does your heart really want? Listen to that, dedicate to that. Create these, these solid structures in your life to keep you in check, to keep you in alignment with what it is you really want because then you're only gonna go up. Like this solitude tower almost looks like the inside of this. It's almost like you're in this and as you keep yourself on that right track, like, ooh, the improvements that you are going to be making, the ascensions that you're gonna be having, as you create these rules to stick to what your heart is calling you towards, what your heart really wants. Tap into your heart. Oh, it's gonna be transformative. Oh, I love it. Okay, anyway, um, let's go ahead and get one more card. Let's shuffle these and get one more card here, and then we'll dive into our Astro Dice really quick. I think my camera is running out of space, so I gotta be quick here. Um, we have pathway, there's a new pathway opening up for you. You're creating a new pathway and you are dedicating to going on that. All of these are like opening up a new path for you. So the month of August is all about your new path, okay? So let's go ahead and roll our, our zodiac sign dice. We're gonna roll it three times to get the top three most likely zodiac signs that will be in your life in the month of August. Um, this could also be a reflection of your own, so let's see. We have Leo. Capricorn and Taurus. Leo, Capricorn, and Taurus. So those are your three zodiac signs. And then we also have Mercury being in Scorpio in the fourth house. Yeah, you're dedicated to building a new foundation and solid new habits that you're gonna be working on and transforming old habits. You might even be doing transformations in your home life transformations within your family too. There could be 
deep transformations or deep talks that you're going to have with your family in order to improve those relationships, in order to improve understanding. Within your home life, there's transformations here through communication, through wisdom, through reflection that are going to really help you uh, improve those areas. And just creating more solidity, more trust in yourself and your new path. There's a deep transformation here for you mentally and within your foundation. And it's going to help you so much, the dedication to these new habits and all of that. So that is what we have for you, my loves. Group number four, thank you so much for joining me here. You're also group number four and we have a four. That's really cute. Okay, anyway, sending you all so much love and until next time, bye.